Hey, Kay. Mm -hmm. You're always saying that you know how to survive a zombie apocalypse, huh? Yeah. Do you, do you think that uh, it's time to live up to that? Do you think you can finally put your money where your mouth is? Oh, yeah, totally. Because there's a virtual reality horror game. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we are playing the Brookhaven Experiment. To start off, let's do some practice round. Try to get a little feel of the game. Try to understand what kills these zombies the best. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, let's see. Town Square Storm Drain Reservoir. Ah, let's do Storm Drain. I love the way you're holding the controller. <laughs> All right, let's get. Let's start killing some people. That sounds awful. What a way to start a video. Let's just kill some people. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh no. I have no bullets. Big Dick Daddy's getting me. And I died. Oh, that was depressing. Okay, so I don't think I'm as good as I think I am. Oh, I'm out of bullets. God damn it. How are you supposed to play this goddamn game? How do you, how do you, it's like a workout at the gym, what's happening? Oh god, I'm dead. You need to reload. Oh, how do you reload? Okay. Really, how do you reload this bitch? Oh, come on, I got a submachine gun and I'm not going to kill a single zombie. Oh, great. They should really let you know. Okay. <laughs> they, they, they were like, oh no, it's Kaylee. Let's not tell her how to reload, okay? Okay. Queen. Uh, how, apparently they're trying to embarrass me. Oh, pull trigger to fire gun. Grip button to reload. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so sweaty. These things look like melted Ken dolls. Don't they? Look at them. They look like, you know when your brother like takes her Barbie dolls and melts them? Is that just a me thing? Insta kills. Sounds like a demented Instagram. <laughs> Let's switch it up. Let's go for Town Square. Cause why would I ever be in a storm drain? You know what I'm saying? Let's try to keep it super realistic. I say that as I'm playing a zombie game because zombies are super realistic. Oh, there's a building on fire. Hmm. Didn't notice that the first time. Boom. Boom to you too, dude. I always fear that something's going to be right behind me when I'm in the VR. Oh, I've had my flashlight backwards this whole time. I was wondering, I was like, damn, this flashlight sucks. <laughs> Okay, maybe I would be the first to die in a zombie apocalypse <laughs> if I can't tell when a flashlight is pointed the wrong way. Oh, it's over. Wave two. Okay, let's see if this gives me more of a challenge. Ooh, this is like a calming atmosphere. I really dig it. I like the, the nice wind, the little ambiance, and then there just happens to be a melted Ken doll. Man, like if a zombie apocalypse wasn't happening, this would be a great place to camp. It's very tranquil. I mean, don't mind the burning buildings, but. All right, guys, since we got our, we got our warm up going, I, I feel like I got a handle of this. I know how to use a flashlight now. So uh, let's take it to the campaign mode. Let's, let's see how we do. Okay, hopefully the campaign like explains why there's a dinosaur head and then like a Mars rover. From the name, I assumed it was going to be like, a, like a, uh, an, uh, an old school insane asylum style game, but uh, I guess I was wrong. So just preliminary um, judgment. I'm gonna say this has something to do with Mars aliens, kind of like Cloverfield. Yeah, Cloverfield. Your tracker is active and I can see that you're in the old Fulton machining place. Huh. There are still enough active GPS satellites to get the job done. I've got reports of a large herd of hostiles in your area. I like when games- You'd better unholster, over. Hmm. I like when games try so hard not to call them zombies when clearly they're zombies. I hope that gun of yours is loaded. Okay. 
Shoot box to acquire upgrade. Aw, I love elephants. Don't know what good is gonna do me down here, but this place is super creepy. It really reminds me of Silent Hill. All right, I'm gonna get you. Boom. Less boom. Stick to listen only mode. Your voice will draw more of them to your position. Oh. As long as you keep moving, that tracker will let me know you're still on mission. Do they not? The sun is almost down. So take care of any remaining hostiles in that place and get out of there. Over. Thank you. Do they not know I have a YouTube video to make? I can't just be quiet. Oh, oh my god! Yeah! Jesus! Somehow I survived that. Now this one should really start. That was like, that was the post warm up warm up. I don't know how many warm ups. Oh! Okay. Okay. That that those footsteps are very reassuring. Like, boom, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. All that target practice really came in handy. When when's that big daddy gonna show up though? He's like the final boss. Boom. Ugh. Look at those butt cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Those are some prominent sheets. From Town Square, you'll see the lamp. It'll be dark, but you won't miss it. The fire will light your way. Kali out. Okay, she's giving me instructions like I'm supposed to go somewhere. But like, I can't, I can't walk. Man, like they really took time in making this scenery. You better be using your flashlight if you're not already. Well, thank you for that. Not much use unless you turn it on. Thank you. Don't turn that flashlight on unless you need it. Oh. You want to conserve your batteries. Well, dang, you should have just prefaced that with that. I mean, I feel like she's not taking the situation very seriously. I mean, I'm out here by myself, trying to survive. You should see the Brookhaven sign from here. That's where all of this started. And that's where you're headed. Clear a path and be ready for anything. Over. I just feel like she's taking me for granted. She's probably in a cozy room somewhere, heavily guarded. Maybe watching some Netflix. And she's giving me a list of chores to do and she's prefacing it with really useless information. Does it matter where this all started? So, I like to talk about all the different scenarios that could happen with the zombie apocalypse. It's actually, it's a running conversation theme in my family. Like if we're just at a random store and we were like, okay, zombie apocalypse works out right now. What do you do? Boy! Boy! Oh, damn! I can't believe I survived that. Okay. Apparently he didn't like my talking. And you know, my first instinct is always to run to safety. Run to wherever it would be... We didn't mean for any of this to happen. We were just curious. Okay, bitch. How I, dangerous is it to peek? I, 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 apparently very dangerous, okay? I don't need to hear your remorseful, I'm sorry I ruined the world and created zombies and mutant aliens. A little too late. Running's your best, your, my, my best bet, seeing as my aim's not that great. Okay, I know I'm supposed to keep my flashlight off, but like, that's just a little too spooky. A little too spooky. Damn, these things are tall as hell. All right, what do you guys think she's gonna say next? I feel like she's going to, uh, I feel like she's gonna say sorry again and uh, how this really isn't her fault. And then I think we're gonna find out that it is her fault. Just, just a guess though. And another tip, with all these like cars abandoned on the street, if you're in the zombie apocalypse and you're trying to get to safety and you're in a car, the car is obviously going to be a huge lifeline in this situation. Whenever you get in the car, well, before you get in the car, always make sure that there's nothing in the back seat. 
There's not a dead person. There's not a zombie. Oh, I just turned off my flashlight. <laughs> Trying to beat him with a turned off flashlight. And then once you're in said car, make sure you lock the doors. And now that's just good advice in life in general. So no one tries to steal your car. And I actually learned that. Aw oh, man. Dang, I died. Feels Batman. <laughs> Feels Batman? Feels Batman. <laughs> oh. Alright. Nope. 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 Oh. Alright. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Right there. I mean, you have to look up. I mean, the camera's in the seat. Oh. <laughs>